Hi, I'm Tim Kane, the entertainment editor at the Herald and Review, and I'm at my desk. I'm a little confused by what I'm perceiving as the reaction to some of our artists behaving the way that we want our artists to behave. I think I'm correct in saying that as a society, and it's not just us now, but we've always been this way, as a society of people, we want our artists to go out and do and experience all the strange and scary things that we're afraid to do ourselves because, I don't know, because we like getting eight hours of sleep and we want to pay our mortgages. I mean, we're, we're, we're afraid to dance right out on the edge and that's what we ask our artists to do. We send them out to the edge, they come back and tell us what it's like on the edge and we can live vicariously through them and have that experience of what it's like out there. But it seems like when we ask our, when our artists actually do go out and come back with those dispatches, then we're completely weirded out. We just, we don't understand, we can't communicate our feelings about how strange that is. And the most recent example is Lady Gaga at the Grammys. That seemed to be the one thing that came out of the Grammy Awards, is that everybody wanted to talk about Lady Gaga coming out of an egg and how weird that was. Well. That's just what Lady Gaga does, isn't it? I mean, last year it was a meat dress. This year it's coming out of an egg. I don't know what it's going to be next year, but it's going to be something different. And all it is is dancing out on the edge and not being afraid to come back and tell us what it's like. It doesn't confuse or baffle me in any way. When I see Lady Gaga, what I think is Lady Gaga watched a lot of Elton John or has gone back and looked at a lot of Elton John clips. Just like my parents probably looked at Elton John and said, this guy watched Liberace quite a bit. There really is nothing new under the sun. And to expect something from our artists other than them being what they are, I think is unfair to the artists and unfair to the art. And you might say that clothing is not art particular clothing on a musician. But I would disagree 100%. A lot of what music is, is packaging. You can have the greatest song ever, but if you look like Christopher Cross, nobody's gonna wanna listen right now. People would, were willing to listen 30 years ago because they didn't know what Christopher Cross looked like because his album cover was a pelican. And it wasn't until you came out and saw him on, on concert shows wearing a big hockey jersey where you thought, this is the guy who's got this beautiful voice? Now we're at the point where we've got videos. People have to have a complete visual image to present to you to get your attention. That's all Lady Gaga is doing. And if you don't think any of this has to do with, has to do with anything, then think about what you've talked about the most the last couple of years from the Grammys. You haven't talked about the musical performances. You haven't talked about who's won. You might even have to stop and think, who did win last year at the Grammys? But you remember the meat dress. I'm not saying that that's right or wrong, but again, we send these artists out to the edge, they tap dance on the edge, they come back in an egg. That's what we're asking them to do. We can't criticize them for doing what we ask them to do, I don't think. I'm Tim Kane. I'm paying my mortgage <laughs> at my desk.